Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More Afterburn tonight. Last week, we kind of went the went the whole campaign route, tried our best to get it completed, which we didn't end up doing on stream, unfortunately. Um, but we did do a couple runs in the interim, and we complete the campaign at some point. I forget which day it was, probably Thursday or Friday. Um, so we, we did our best. We did our best. So now we've got a whole other mode to kind of check out, though. There's an endless mode, which essentially uh, gives you a... A daily seed of uh, of waves of enemies to to just go through, and you you go until you die. Uh, so that's what we're going to be primarily focusing on tonight. But we will warm up with uh, with whatever today's campaign is going to be. And I think we've kind of settled on the Eagle L uh, with the homing missiles for our our preferred setup here. Um, there is another variant that I want to try though. Uh, I think it was was it the Hawk. I think it was the Hawk L with heat seeking missiles that we would want to try as well. We need something. Uh, actually, no, that's going to be super bad armor. Um, we're going to stick with the Eagle then. Because <laughs> we want enough armor where we can take a bop or two before eating shit. Um, and I think the Eagle is the one to do it with. Uh, so let's let's warm up with the campaign. Let's warm up with the campaign. I also changed up the uh, HUD colors to pink since it stands out a lot better in most circumstances. Um. Better than the, the lime green did, in fact. Um, but there's like a like a complete dozen of colors that you can pick through. And the kind of the neat part is, um, for any other elements on the HUD that show up that aren't the primary color, like the little yellow gain altitude thing, I, I believe that's a complementary color to pink, which uh, makes it stand out as well, which is pretty good. That's a nice old touch of usability right there. Nice old touch, nice old touch. And there we go, there's mission one. <laughs> With 100% accuracy to boot, so all right, there we go. Uh, that's why I like the homing missiles. So I anticipate we probably won't complete the campaign on this uh, on this go through here. Um, considering it is still quite difficult, but um, you know, we'll do our best, we'll do our best. We'll probably make it up through mission five. Um, give that a couple goes and then We'll swap over to Endless for the bulk of the night. So one thing I have learned about these homing missiles at the very least is that if you give them a little bit of a lead, they've got a really solid chance of, of hitting the mark, so we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to try to help them out a little bit with like a slightly offset aim a little bit ahead of our target. And usually that'll do it, even if they're coming at us like just straight on. Or making a sharp turn or something. If we give them a little bit of a lead, then usually we'll hit. Oh, except all five of those missed. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That should be the extent of that mission. Good. Good, good, good. Plus, we've got a good handle on how many missiles precisely that we need to, to dunk these fuckers. So we'll try to hold off on any extra shots, because that keeps our accuracy high and gives us more bonus at the end. Um, but if stuff does start going a little squiffy, nice roll, um, we won't hesitate to open fire, as the case may require. It's ten shots on each each of these corners here. And then we haven't 100% figured out how to always get away from the mines once they get launched. Usually it just turns into uh, a matter of not getting too greedy with these shots. Like, almost there. Like, usually you don't want to lean directly into them. keep our speed up enough such that uh, cargo. Okay, got one more corner to take off on this guy. We'll pull wide. Oh, and of course these shifted it to the backside, these little shit. There we go. 
Ooh, okay, that was looking a little scary, because once you start seeing the mines just kind of drift towards you like that, it gets a little bit dicey to try to avoid them. Oh, there's another wave. Interesting. I figured that would have been it. That's right. Even if it's just like a kind of tiny sized wave, we're, we're good. Not until mission five when the the wave sizes get a little bit ridiculous. silly but we got it got it okay and ended up with 10k plus on mission three not bad not bad really not bad clip that one there. Not quite. Well, <laughs> alright buddy. Good job. <laughs> Didn't even have to force him into that one. Ah, that guy too. That's unfortunate because it just gives us half score. And then the full 250 we get 125 for those dudes that crash on their own. And then only 50 for the, the smaller ones. That was a bit dicey. As you start seeing the full bit of them, it gets a little silly. Ten a piece for the radars. Those can get sometimes a little spicy too, depending on how many of your initial shots actually hit them. And don't get distracted by the missiles they're shooting at you. Okay, yeah, did count those correctly. Counting the little, the little tick sounds to hear how many of them actually hit. Ah, oh, jeez. Wow, okay. They had pretty good aim there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but that's how it'd be sometimes. Exactly. Once they turn around and and mark you straight on, you're pretty much toast. No chance on that, fortunately. Okay. Divided one of the missiles to one of the other struts there.
Oh, shit. Surprised that those lasted that long. Usually gravity takes hold of them pretty quickly. There we go. I see his, he was flying kind of high that time, so he had more time to track me down and ruin my day. Yeah, none of us hit that time. Sure, we could probably identify more effective use of ammo. We'd listen to the pitch of the little clicks too, but that's a little rough to try to do when shit starts popping off. I know there's one left. Oh, it's just a radar. Okay. Should be a pretty soft touch this time, I hope. Alright, better. <laughs> and now into mission five, which is probably the last one we're gonna be able to complete on kind of a soft playthrough here. So we'll try to complete it, and then if we get to mission six, we'll try it a couple times, and if that doesn't go well, then we'll just swap over to Atlas and, and be done with it. Hey Omega Open, how you doing? Good to see ya. there for no particularly good reason. Live struts to my back there. Ah, good enough. Don't. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, and I caught one of those mines right in the tail. Oops. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see ya. Ah, see, one of those missed. It's wild, I guess he was a little bit too close. That's alright. Woohoo, okay. <laughs> we'll take the free 75 points.
Oh, shit. They take me twice in quick succession, unfortunately. Alright, come on. We gotta at least beat mission 5 before we move over to Endless here. It's definitely possible, because it's not really that tough of a mission. It's just fucking... Ugh. Bad luck on some of these shots. side, which is good. It's now the last one. Just kind of whip around. Face. Oh, <laughs> it's probably the same two from before they got me, you little shits. Ugh. They group up like that. Even the tiny groups. Tiny pairs and triples are just, mm, bad news. Shitheads. Okay, that's better. More manageable number. <laughs> okay, I think there's at least one more wave, though. Overshot one of them. One of those hit. Shit. There, so we're just gonna loop around again and give it the full burst. There we go. Don't need it harassing me while I deal with these shitheads.
chasing me, you bitch. There we go. to deal with and we'll be good. One tick there. Oh. oh no! And then he got me! Shit! I held back on that second group thinking I had one to spare there. Fuck. Well that was dumb. <laughs> well that was a dumb go of things. Good job. Down below it. <laughs> that was a fucking stupid move. But we did it. <laughs> Boy, that guy just went in for it. Good job. Okay, that takes care of all the airborne threats except for this big boy here. He is really flying high. I don't like that. <sighs> Shit. Okay, he's gone. Or radars to take care of. Shouldn't be that much of a problem, I don't think. Okay, I heard four hit there, I think. Okay. 
pop an extra just in case. Don't want to fuck this up the second time. Okay, good. Okay, one more. All right, better. <laughs> so there's mission five taken care of. I highly doubt we'll pass mission six, but we'll give it, let's call it like three tries, and then we'll pop over to endless. Cause now shit's gonna be popping off. Things will get dicey extremely fast. Winged me once and then he somehow kept aim on me. Little bitch. Alright, so there's one. <laughs> there's one. Not a very good first go of it, I'll tell you what. but did it anyways. <sighs> yep, when they start spawning three and four at a time, that's bad news. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Cannot be facing these idiots down. This is a bad idea. Oh my god, and then there's 20 bajillion when I turn around. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, gosh dang it. Couldn't even get a good handle on where we were in that first wave either. Okay, what the f- alright, no, we're not counting that one because that was garbage. <laughs> that would have been number three. Shift there.
<laughs> oh my lord. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It annoys me. It annoys me that they're still able to keep up with me. Like when I'm just on full afterburn. Full afterburner and they can still just catch up to me. I hate it. It's annoying. How many missiles I could spare to get that dude before pulling out of there? Fuck me. There's still a radar down below that big guy, too. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a bad way to turn. <laughs> Shit. Taking pot shots at me, and I did not like it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Got all the radar stations out, so that's pretty okay. Oh, <laughs> I can see him. Oh boy, and then these guys blaze a trail right back on in. Oh. Oh. So many big cargo ships that are soaking up all these missiles. Can't really do much about it. Except kind of make the rounds and hope that I don't get bodied by one of these mines. And hope that a couple of my pursuers eat shit on these dudes. Which so far hasn't been doing a whole lot. Oh! Okay, there goes one of them. That dude's already been bodied super hard on that side, so we can't kind of pull our. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn around and, and go counterclockwise instead of clockwise here. Oh my god. And then there's all of that, which is an immediate fucking almost. <laughs> Fuckers, come on. It's gotta thin the crowd a little bit. Oh. Okay, it's 
fine. Okay, there's not too many of them. There's only 16 flying around. 15. <laughs> Fourteen. Thirteen, twelve, I think. What? <laughs> twelve, eleven, nine. <laughs> Eight, seven, I hope. Don't eat the mines. <laughs> okay, that's better. All right, we're down to five. Five flyers plus these big ass mother fuckers that are still hanging around here. <sighs> Need him to not. Okay. Okay, there's another biggie. Out of here. Okay, there are two of them. Come on, fucker. Okay. Excellent. Come here, you little shithead. <laughs> Alright, one more. Whew, okay, now I just gotta focus down these big fuckers. Hopefully it'll just be like one on each side now. Oh shit, that was a mine that was still floating around. Fucking... Mm. I'm surprised that was the end of the fucking mission. Holy shit, we did it. Because <laughs> I was stubborn. Okay, cool, good. Only enough to net us second place, but uh, not bad considering. So, uh, alright, now we're good to move on to Endless. <laughs> Only took us 16 tries throughout the entire thing, which honestly isn't bad. Um, but okay, okay, Endless though. Let's see what they've got today. First wave is almost assuredly a soft touch. Just like three tiny dudes or one slightly larger dude and that's usually good for a wave one, right? And wave two isn't much of anything either. It's like a small handful of bullshit. Wave 3 is just not extremely threatening, usually. Usually. <laughs> Number one or bust. The endless boards are surprisingly competitive. I think the best I've managed to do is like number 50. So there's just like some secret sauce that I can't just grasp just yet, I don't think. Which is fine, you know, it's like, we've only been playing this a week, week and a half, so I don't expect to be that good. Woo, that was a bit spicy. They turn their busted side towards us. We have to loop around again. There we go. 
on radar station around that way for. Five is about where it starts, or where it stops fucking around, rather. I think they, this one appears to be mostly tiny dudes, so not, not too much to be afraid of. Well, well, except when they do that. I don't know where those other three just came blasting it out of nowhere. Fuckers. Mm. So back to wave one we go. I see. Two tiny fuckers here. One, two. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, okay. Well, I mixed up the composition of this one. Which is a little bad for us. Four cargo ships at once is not gonna be pretty. Especially with all these extra shitheads flying around. Take me twice, what a bitch ass. <laughs> like, he caught me at the first bullet, I'm like, ah, shit, and then the second one just screamed right into me. Oh shit, wish I had his aim. 
All right, oh, well, whatever. Hopefully we don't get a, a wave five with four cargo ships again, because that's not fun. Well, I mean, it is fun, but it's very difficult to deal with. Just scrape the ground a little bit, that's right. A little excess paint on our wings. field right away. It's not crowded enough where we need to fly around and to get some breathing room. Dead on. Shithead. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, only one. Only drew one cargo ship this time. That's okay, I guess. It just means the skies are gonna be real crowded with these tiny fuckers for a while. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Until they get knocked out the sky by that dude just barreling on in. Fucking love it. Two of them are really threatening. Most of that group got thinned out pretty good. There we go. Excellent. All right, there's where wave five in the bag.
wave six is kind of dense. We got a passing glance at it before it reset itself because we downed some idiot. Uh, okay. So oh, six cargo ships. Oh boy. Okay. Mm. <laughs> hmm. That might be a small issue. Hopefully we can clear the skies a bit before they arrive. There's one of them. Second one. Oh, good gravy, sirs. Oh, there's a third one. Half of one of them down. Ugh. with that group incoming. Whoa. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you little shit. Yeah. Boy, they've got quite the perimeter going here. Ah! Seems I saw that group of four or five coming in, I'm like, mm, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good, that's not good at all. Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. At least we know, like, the first four waves are pretty easy. The fifth one is kind of stodgy, and then number six is where it gets serious. Stop stealing my missile lock all the time, that'd be nice. one there, but I know the sudden dip in altitude might have done me in. Only one cargo this time, that's good. Oh boy, dude though, trying his best. Straight on shot without a lock. That's kind of rare to get that. Good. Good. So there's the easy set of waves. <laughs> Only one cargo in wave five, so that means the skies are going to be busy. that one. Fuck. Oh 
boy. Okay. There are three in our stations, though. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, I figured he was going to blast me as soon as I turned around. Good on him for not doing that. Oh, that's a fucking group. Okay. Excuse me. That's a big-ass group. Luckily, it's a lot of tiny fuckers, but still a little scared to see that number of targets. threatening ones are gone. We'll clear out the group a little bit. <laughs> Alright, very good. Excellent. Very good. Down to one. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, good. Just this one cargo and the two radars. Threatening ones out in the sky. Excellent. Four cargoes this time. That's not great. But, uh, means there'll be less tiny fuckers to deal with. Fuck. I don't want them bunching up like this. Mm. <laughs> ah, come on, motherfuckers. What was I supposed to do about any of that? Little shitheads. Mm. Once you get a whole symphony of beeps going on, then it gets a little bit... stodgy. Well, okay. Thanks for stealing half my score there, you idiot. Bop himself right into the ground. Who does that? Come on, hit the fucker. Thank you. Lord. Four went real quick.
<laughs> but feel like we got a little shafted on wave five here because our score feels extremely low for this far end. station on top of that mesa there's kind of a uh. that are a bit of a threat there. Missile locks were stolen there, that it wasn't uh, gonna happen. A lot of those whoa dudes are one away. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> Shit on a fucking shingle. Alright. Alright, buddies. Settle down. Saw a couple crashes there, that's fine. Okay, excuse me. Oof. God, look at that cloud on the the right. Damn it! Fucking shit! Ugh. <laughs> what the hell? Mm -hmm. mm. Let's try one of the other aircraft with the, the missiles on them. I think I... Uh, the Falcon... Maybe the Falcon A with the... Uh, with the missiles, I think. Because those, those are the stronger ones, and we've already got good maneuverability, I think. So we 
extra armor. Yeah, all right, the extra armor this should be fine. So now this is one pop and the tiny ones are done. Although I think it, the bigger ones take three, which is unfortunate. I can only really pop off one at a time. Plus the homing on these doesn't seem to be quite as strong, so we might be up a creek with this. Six, maybe to take down a radar station. Oh, we can pop off three at a time. I thought it was limited to two. All right, that's good. That's good. Yeah, three for the bigger ones, one for the smaller ones. And the homing is just as shitty as I expected. <laughs> Damn it. Oof. So we don't have nearly as much top speed. The armor region on here is slow as hell, too, so that's perhaps not the most ideal one to have picked. Let's see once we get a little further if we can make this work. Seven, huh? Seven to get a radar. But we can survive a bot from a single mine. So that's good. <laughs> it's not much, but it's something. These mines do 50 damage, it looks like, so oof. -a. Perhaps best not to take a bot from them, regardless. Whether we can survive it or not, probably best not to. speed that makes me a little worried. Yeah, it's definitely seven. If it were six, I feel like that would be a lot better. It's like two full salvos and then we're done, but... They don't have that luxury. This 
this one feels a little bit more deliberate. We have to plan our maneuvers a bit more rather than just turning around, dumping off a ass ton of missiles and hoping for the best. So we gotta kinda be a little bit more on our mustard. But we can take more of a beating too, that's the important bit here. Wow, none of those hit, huh? That was kind of stupid. with the reduced tracking on these missiles, we can't exactly just turn around, snapshot, and hope for the best. Gotta lead them quite a bit more. And even then, doesn't seem to do much. Just a lot of the tinier dudes seem to go a little bit quicker. Fairly reliable at bopping those. Alright, good. Alright, so we're through wave 5 with the plane changeover. Not bad. seven for one quarter of these fuckers now. Again, being able to face down these slightly larger idiots is 
Kind of helpful. <laughs> We don't have to turn away immediately. We know we can take at least one or two bots. Okay, pretty big wing from that mine there. That really delayed armor regen is kind of scary. Oof. Uh. Ooh, especially when they're doing that. And this, well, especially since we don't have good top speed to get away. Definitely can't mix it up too much here. Three of those miss. It's ridiculous. get bopped by there. That seemed like a little bit of horse shit. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. If we can get something just a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Uh, hmm. I don't know that the Hawk L will do it. Uh, maybe the Hawk A? Because that's already top speed, right? Okay, that's definitely faster, but oh boy, it suffers on the... Oh, it's got stronger missiles yet, so that's only two for a larger one. But boy howdy, is it extremely lacking in the maneuverability, which might be a problem. Plus it's got, well, terrible armor. Regen is just as slow as the other one. This one's gonna work out. Missiles are pretty slow to lock on, too. Gotta be real sure about your aim. Sure enough that they're gonna get cut off at the pass there. Boy, yeah, having a lack of turning here is really kind of killing me a little bit. Yikes. I guess once the missiles start tracking, they're better, but they definitely have a noticeable delay on when they kick in. When they do, they seem to cut a pretty good corner there. I like that. Hmm. We might be able to make this work. Them being able to turn circles around us is a little annoying. Oh, and how did that one just totally fucking whiff? Strong lock and everything. Right. 
looks like four. Only four missiles for these, which is uh, intriguing. So we'll work with it. still take up one bot from one mine <laughs> but that oh man that, that turning feels awful i can't do it i can't do it with this one uh and i think the l is gonna be maybe too fast and then the s is uh, maybe okay although i feel like we're gonna be down to 30 armor at best right Oh no, we have 50. Okay. Well, the turning's better, but still not what one would call spectacular. I'm really not sure about the whole more effective barrel rolls thing. I've yet to see that really pay off. I'm sure it might pay off in a, a really thick firefight here, but... Gotta make it that far first. God, the turning is still really sluggish. It's definitely better than before, but very, still very slow. care of a radar station or a quarter of a cargo. That's good. That's good. That definitely beats out 10 and 7, respectively, but... Mm. Turning is still maybe a bit too slow for us here. Like, I'm okay being, like, a frantic fighter here, but this is just not effective enough for us. So good. Come out with a pretty clean wave five. Excuse me. Oh, okay, that second one missing is kind of garbo. Yeah, 
that it's definitely a delay between when they fire and when they actually start tracking. Don't like it. Don't like it. I need those babies to come hot out the gate and ready for action, but mm, they are taking their sweet time. None of those hit what I was aiming at. It's kind of silly. Circling around, come on. Jesus. Alright, through wave five. Kind of ugly. Hand one. What did I get bopped by there? Yikes. Okay, that is still too slow. Like, we can't deal with it. Uh, I don't think any of the other variants are going to be better. So the Hawk is pretty much entirely out. We can't do anything with it. Which leaves us the Eagle and the Falcon. Uh, Eagle L with rockets is definitely our favorite. But maybe we can do something with... Uh, Eagle S, perhaps? So that'll get a 60 armor, at least, right? And, you know, not, not terrible maneuverability. And then this is the one with the better barrel rolls, which... Again, I don't really see what it's doing. Maybe they're just faster, tighter, perhaps? Who knows? Go back to the, the weakest set of rockets possible, but at least these do a fairly good tracking job right out the gate. And their turning is such that we can very quickly burn one of these motherfuckers if they pop up. I guess it makes sense to have the strongest ones have the weakest homing, and then the weakest ones have the strongest homing. I guess it balances out, as annoying as it is.
just enough armor to eat one mine without totally losing it. missiles to knock out one of these suckers. missiles without getting dunked either. Maybe we'll science it out when we're not on an okay run. Should have been wave five, I think, judging on our score, yeah. But now we might see the better barrel rolls pay off. <laughs> oh come on, we only got 60 points for that? Oh, that was that was extremely dangerous. That should have been a hundred at least. Motherfuckers. I still don't know if those more effective barrel rolls are doing anything. <laughs> Because if they're not, we may as well just go back to, uh... Well, I guess we can't go to the high armor one, because that really slows you down. 
and ruins your turn radius, so it's like, it's either the, the high maneuverability one or nothing at this point, really. Entirely right. Okay, count that out properly. That one. All right. Okay, that's two thirds of the way now. And okay, goes that one to left. Goes that one. One more. <laughs> And there goes that one. Okay. Big boys are out in the sky. Had a lot to deal with in that area. Maybe the cooldown on the barrel rolls is better? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell what it's actually doing. But I'm gonna trust that it's doing something. through wave six. Good, good. It's gonna be some busy ass skies. Busy ass ground too, 13, 12 radars, Jesus. I mean, I guess that keeps the skies less crowded, so whatever. We'll deal. <laughs> I think he just got smacked out the sky by this thing. Beep beep, motherfucker. Six cargo ships is uh, a little scary. Ooh, especially when they do that, motherfuckers! Ah, I think we improved our rank a little bit, though. To the low, low or high, high fifties, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe there's something to this uh, better barrel roll thing, huh? Even if the maneuverability is kind of trash.
three waves in quick succession. Oh, okay. We can take a missile and survive. We're at full. It does 50 like the mines do. Alright, science achieved at the very least. fuckers in one radar. Two tiny fuckers in one radar. <laughs> Idiot. Kind of a mystery how it determines what our little dangerous bonus is there. I figured it was a function of speed and proximity, but it might be just num amount of time we spend really close by. Though it do seems that if we drop below a certain speed, it doesn't give us anything, which I guess tracks a little bit. It's like they don't want you just hovering around it. while we were hovering right below. Ooh, again. <laughs> Probably not the smartest of ideas to do that, but hey, can't argue with results, I guess. say it is a lot of dudes in the sky at the very start here Don't hear any big fuckers incoming all right there's the first one seven radar all right seven radar explains a little bit
just fly right into him. Good job. There's three of them. Screwing me out of those points. I need those points. <laughs> you know, knowing that I can take one of those on the nose and be alright. It's uh, probably not the greatest. Makes it even more uh, aggressive flyby. <laughs> oh! I'm surprised we don't get dangerous points for that, but I guess it doesn't count if it's literally falling apart as you go right under it. Boo. up on their ground-to-air defenses, but fortunately we've got pretty good patterns on all these. Not too spread out either, although I do think they pop out of existence then pop in front of you if you go too far, which is a nice touch, honestly. You don't have to whip a Yui and go back super far. guy yet. Just fucking following after me that entire time? What a shithead. Ooh, seven cargoes this time. <laughs> That's a lot of points. It's a good solid 10,500 points, but boy are they a pain in the ass to deal with sometimes. We still have a pretty good complement of airborne idiots now too. crash into these dudes and rob me of half their juicy point goodness here. Beat motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, got really close to nailing that other cargo ship just straight on. Which would be very unfortunate because losing half of 1500 points is very dumb. Very bad for score as it turns out. Jesus Christ, the skies are filled. Okay, excuse me. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! Motherfuckers! Oh. If we had cleared just four of those cargo ships, we would have advanced a little bit, but fuck. Ugh. Alright, that's okay, okay. I, I think we're growing accustomed to this, uh, this different variant here. <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh alright. Too bad we don't get a dangerous bonus for doing the flyby on the radar stations, too. Because I would definitely do that. That would be fun. Well, that was wave two already? Did I just totally black out during wave one? It's been known to happen. I 
once the initial waves are short enough where you just fucking blink and you pass them already. That's gonna be wave three, I bet, right? Yep. <laughs> Popped a fourth one there. Oh, he would have dipped his nose a bit. I might have run full on into him if that had happened. <laughs> kind of like almost there. Oh boy, extremely dangerous. All right, we're gonna have to dip off a little bit, come back. He's always turning his already busted side towards me. Oh, oh, well, eating two mines is not going to work. That is way too much damage. Mm. Shit. Well, luckily we weren't too far into that one, so... It'll be another blink and suddenly three waves are done. So there's wave one, right? Well, I'm surprised they gave us a radar in wave two. It's generous of them. Easy points. Or it would be if I finished the job properly. There. <laughs> First three waves, right? <laughs> yep, there we go. Nice. It's not even like the fourth wave is any any real tough challenge anymore, anyways. But it's typically where they start bringing in the big cargo ships, which can be uh, hit or miss depending on how you decide to go at them. into him. That kind of stinks. One of them points. Whoa! <laughs> Preferably without almost eating shit myself. Thank you. out of town there. Not dead yet, is he? Ah. 
hovering a bit too fast there. All right, fine. Get a like a half kilometer or so, and then fucking turn around and burn him. There we go. Whoa! Also hoping that he doesn't burn me. Okay. Second one. Oh, there's another one. Also, oh wow, he came roaring in, didn't he? Stop crashing, I want your points, <laughs> you little shit. I'll have to settle for the danger points to make up for it. across all four of the major areas. Because why wouldn't they? Did that one just crash into the other one? I hope not. Looks like we got maybe half the score we were due there. Shitheads. Mm -hmm. Damn it. 750 big ones we ain't getting back. Shithead. <clears throat> Crashing because they're intimidated by it. <laughs> that would be something. Like, honestly, it would be a little scary to see. I don't even know what kind of real life model of playing this would be, but it would be kind of scary to see this hovering by you and dumping missiles in your face, I will admit. Set there, good. Okay, that'll work. here.
<laughs> Wasted no time. Oh my god. Alright, there's already three of them inbound. Excuse me. Oh, four. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Um, this could be a small problem. Oh, beep beep, motherfucker! <laughs> One, two, ah, oh, it took two of the cargo things out of commission, so we only got half the points for it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that sucks. 1500 points we're not getting out of that. It was kind of funny, though. Like, let's be honest. It was extremely funny to just see somebody pull up and immediately go down. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. Alright. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. I'm surprised uh, that took him down entirely. There's a radar up there too. That's what else is ejecting shit. <laughs> Damn it! Put myself in there. Good job. Mm. Shit. I was trying to be all fancy. And it ends up biting me. Good fucking lord. Uh, whatever, it's fine. We can do it again. We've already advanced our rank a little bit tonight, so I can I can be satisfied with a minor improvement. Even if it's not the best. Looks like wave 5 is kind of light this time. <laughs> we dipped his nose a bit quick there. Surprised we didn't eat it. Alright, there's number two blazing a trail on in here.
wider on that one. Keeps putting his destroyed bits towards us. Okay, took one of those. Good job. Surprised <laughs> we didn't need a second one and then it would have been all over. Like that. God damn it. <laughs> Ugh. Trying to be fancy, and that's what gets me. Good good job. Good job. Alright, one more go, and then we'll wrap up for tonight. Already got one minor improvement under the belt, so that's pretty good. It's more than we can say for some nights, so. Rankings are endless or set daily? Actually, I'm not 100% sure about that. I think they might be permanent. Despite the fact that the waves seem a little bit different even between individual playthroughs per day, I think the, the endless is all permanent. So I think it tries to set up each wave to be roughly score equivalent, even if the mix of enemies is different. That's the nearest as I could, as I'm able to tell so far, at any rate. But I know that the campaign scores reset every day, or every 36 hours, I think. It's not strictly a day. So is that. Okay. Excuse me. Jeez. I 
guys hovering at a very unfortunate altitude over that mesa. Ugh. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! Got caught by two mines there, motherfuckers. Alright, one more. One more, then we'll wrap it for tonight. That's annoying. Okay, excuse me. Thank you. something to do on the way to this radar. <laughs> Hell yeah, like a full-on hydraulic thing, like surround screens and shit. Like, that'd be awesome. Be so right. Like, I can see something like this as well, being sort of low-poly, being real good for the current state of VR, too, right? It'd be fucking great. Like, it's not so high fidelity that would make that it would make you nauseous. But there's enough here, like, it would be really super cool to be just, like, right in there. Alas, that will have to wait for a later day than today. Because not obscenely rich, etc. <laughs> but, you know, the thought is nice.
Mist. Okay. okay these guys are gonna get busy now. This is only wave six too, so oh there's only one cargo. That would that would explain a lot. <laughs> Whatever the equivalent is in these little tiny planes, each one of those cargos takes out the sky. Radar stations, though, so that cleans it up a bit. Ooh, shouldn't get that close. <laughs> Damn it! Ow! Ah! <laughs> All right, one more. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh! I even I even warned myself, and I just did not fucking listen. <laughs> Three or four, I think, at that point, right? That's wave four? It seemed pretty low for wave four, score wise, honestly, not even 4k. Yeah, whatever. It starts picking up, anyways. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there. Coming down on top of you.
lower than average armor regen kind of caught me a little bit. Dang, I'm done cleaning up the skies before it gets overwhelming, huh? <laughs> Tried to tip my nose up and get him real quick from the other side, but no such luck. There we go. Okay. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Be fancy with these radars. Just knock them out the, not the sky, the ground, I guess. And be done with it. Try. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, got winged by one of the mines there. Yeah, there's a dude right below him. <laughs> oh, it's caught me out there. Little fucker. Ooh, okay, yeah, the skies are getting busy. Ugh. <laughs> okay, there goes one, I think. Yeah, good. Really just go for the high value targets first before I eat shit entirely here. Oh, good gravy. Okay, excuse me. Please. Okay, get one more high value out there. <laughs> Okay, uh... Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, son of a bitch, we're still like 6,000 off. Uh, although, let's see, where, where are we sitting here, actually? Oh my god, really? 74. 
74 points off, and then number 57 isn't too far beyond that. Uh, like, where are we sitting? 43,000? So I feel like we can reasonably maybe hit 47, 48. So that puts us in low, low to mid 40s, really. And then it kind of accelerates. Let's look at the top. What's the top like? 112! Oh, we can't even look at the very top for some reason. Wave 8? Wave 11? Fuck me. Ah, oh, why can't why why does it stop at number nine? Why can't we look at beyond that? Are we limited to like plus or minus forty from where okay, yeah, minus fifty from where we're at, pretty much. But hey, we made it to, to high fifties. Seems good. Seems good to me. Well, alright, that's where we'll we'll stop for tonight for now. <laughs> top eight is paywalled, right? Uh, but alright, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be Wednesday, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be back here with uh, Afterburn for one more night. One more night at the very least. I, f I figured we owe Endless one more real solid go, and then we'll relegate this to, to off-stream work, essentially. Um, and then Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CDT, will be Shmup Book Club. So more Phalanx, or Soikyo Gorontai, or uh, we might start up with Eskatos as well, uh, depending on if we can get a, get a hold of it somewhere. Um, and then Friday, this Friday is podcast, so 7 p.m. CDT, twitch.tv slash zero productions. It's our 100th episode, or 100th round, or whatever we call them, um, which is pretty impressive considering that's, that's a lot of, a lot of podcasts to have done. Um, so we talk about video games, we, we talk about some news, we talk about what we've been playing since last time, we do some design at the end, it's always real fun. Um... Saturday we're off for sure, because we got something else going on that day, but then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, will be more long play, so more Dead Cells. We've got some work to do on some Dead Cells. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.